Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 24 of Let's Play Xenogears. Alright, we're still in the uh, sewers in uh, Nortune, and we did get a level up on C10, which is nice. In fact, on his next level up, he learned Fuse, which blocks Earth attacks. Combine that with like Renki and then Fuse, you can apply that buff to everyone. That could be beneficial. So when I try going down that ladder that I took to get here before, it turns out it doesn't work. It's a one-way ladder. I guess these things only just push you. So I gotta be careful with that. I think? Maybe they're just cleaning drones. Alright, so I gotta deal with these acid frogs and the mullet again. At least we don't have to worry too much about, you know, our items and stuff. Like, we got a healer, and we do have Omega Sol if we need it. Like, if our healer runs out of EP. Which can easily happen, by the way. If he's healing a lot. We're still working on our death blows for other characters, and I haven't had the time to build them up. Which sucks, but what can you do? However, Rico is actually uh, working on his next death blow called Banderas. And I think it's just like Square and X. Nothing too complicated, of course. You'll fail, please. At least he doesn't have any other issues besides just being poisoned. I know, go after this one. Right now, my best death blow to use is Tenbu. But I guess that's just how it be. I still have another attack. I should use that. I'm like, what? What am I doing? Alright, this guy's almost down. Sometimes I wonder if I'm at the right level to even use my other death blow as Faye. Like Ryujin? What level do I have to be? Probably like late 30s. I'm only level 30, as is. She say? Wait a minute, I'm gonna be getting like a new abilities for a C10 every level for a while? Alright, what does that one do? Blocks wind attack. So I might get one soon for fire and I could get one for water. Is that how it's gonna go? I'm not complaining, but I'm just a bit surprised that I learned so many of them in a row. Oh, that drone is still in the way. I should probably move. Okay, let's just lead back here. On the other side of where I got that night helm. Oh, I was just about to press select to see the map. Oh, these guys again? You know, let's actually run from them. Because then we have to wait so long for them to get out of the water, and then we can hit them, and when they hit us, they hit us hard. Like, why would I stick around for that? Okay, I assume this is a good idea to go this way, is it? A poison guard. That sounds pretty cool, I guess. Not as cool as the cool shades I got before. But it's good enough. It'll help out if we need to. Benefit from it in any way. There's another one of those drones. At least we didn't get sliced. But again, it's only five damage. So the fan blades are not even that bad. 
we can just go ahead and fight anyone except the mullets. Because even though the mullets give us a nice chunk of experience, also there's another memory cube here. Um, it would take too long. The good thing about this map, it does pinpoint where we are. So we won't get completely lost. Ugh. What is this? Yeah, I just said that, Faye. This is a rat sweeper machine. We call them the Catless Rat Removers. What is this? No. It's not broken. Why isn't it moving? Let me see it. Alright, Rico, you want to take a look at it? Huh. There's something inside. What's this? Keys. We just got a set of keys. These were Vargas' pass keys to the sewer. They must have gotten caught up in this thing. That's why it wasn't moving? I wonder what these keys are for. These are the key keys to the sewage treatment plant. Sewage treatment plant? I Rico did briefly mention that once. That's where all the sewage ends up. That is strange. Where is it? From here, it's northeast through the door and near the furthest waterfall. Let's go and see. I think that would be a great idea. What's must be on this way. Nothing. Just a waste of time. Yep. Could you imagine if you had an encounter like right in the fan blades and then every few seconds you get hit by more of them? That would be downright atrocious. It gets back up? It just summoned two reinforcements. What even is that? Yeah, how does that work? Guess we'll have to take out reinforcements next. <laughs> Go ahead and do your thing, Faye. As you're apt to do. So how are we doing on death blows for the other characters? Well, how does it summon two reinforcements? That's just dumb! <laughs> well, we better get experience for each one. I love that dropkick, by the way. Hey, it's showing its butt at us. What the hell? That is rude. Last guy. And it was enough because we could go soften him up. Beautiful. Oh, Rico got to level 25. And C10 learned Cassie. Oh, wow. Look at all the stuff we got. Three of each item. At least we won't have a shortage of those for a while. Holy crap. <laughs> Region still at like 85. C10 still didn't learn anything new on the list. And Bandera's at 87. The sooner we can get those up, the better. Should we use the save point? We'll use the save point. Might as well. <laughs> In case something goes wrong. Well, I don't think it'll go wrong. Like, even though, like, two-thirds of our party are, like, level 25, that should be more than enough for a place like this. I'm forgetting that's the name of the chapter. Sewer Horror. Jeez, it must be that nasty of a monster, considering it left a lot of murder in its wake. 
And that's no good. Did I hit the slime? I hit the slime. These jerks again. Bye. <laughs> Next up, we should probably cross the bridge. Wait, am I going the right way? I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, I think I am. But did I go this way? Oh, look at that! There's another, uh... Did they have a chalk outline? Here, too. Ugh. There's that smell again. It's like something's burning. Burnt? Hmm. I see. Hey, look at this. The slime is over by that drain too. It appears this slime was left behind by the monster. Okay, why did I think all that was coming out of the uh, sluice pipes was slime? No, it's most it's pretty much water, but there's slime in it. Or slime around it. If I were to wager a guess. Alright, these acid frogs are not very tough. Unless that happens. Like, do they seriously call for backup and get their turn as if they didn't call for backup at all? I think that's what I'm getting out of this, and that's a little unfair. Can't say I'm a fan of that. Just saying. <laughs> this thing's a little unbalanced. Oh, here we go again! We're going through the same song and dance. Oh, so they don't always just use poison. Sometimes they'll use a tail whip. This one should be almost dead anyway, so I'll just use Raijin. There we go. It was the right decision. Yeah, it's almost like a Northern Light suplex or a T-Bone suplex. What on earth? I like it. Because the enemy was still facing forward. It is not from behind. Let's say a German suplex. Alright, if Rico has like a lot of death blows that are like wrestling related, I'm gonna like this. So we say, so I'm guessing that's water. So it reminds you of like Swegen. Okay, Bandera's at 95, so Rico's got a little ways to go. Okay, that blocks water and that blocks fire. Okay, it's the opposite of what I thought. Don't mind me! <laughs> Maybe it just coats you with water to block fire. Like, say, it's a water shield. Maybe that's the logic of why the move is named the way it is. So we're going back this way again. Let's take a different path. What on earth are these? They're like demons, but they're also wombats? That's pretty cool looking, I guess. Batcrat. It's a bat rat! Oh no. Oh no. Oh, and it's Faye's next turn. Oh, thank god he only hit the dock once. I missed every attack! Except for that one. Oh, these guys are gonna be a pain in the ass if they can confuse. Rico's gonna need healing again. 
Ooh, and their melee attacks are not weak either. You know, even though you're confused, you still know how to dodge that. Are you serious? Here, I just need to patch up his health. Oh no, now Rico is confused. I think that's a good reason why C10 had the uh, cool shades. Now I'm seeing why. Please finish this one off. This is annoying. Yikes. Sound that this only restores HP. Like, if it was able to remove, like, ailments, I can get rid of that confusion. You know, without using an item. I'd rather save my items for, like, a tougher fight. Because really, these guys aren't that bad on their own. Frustrating. Oh yeah, and they can heal themselves. This is the second time that one did it. Um, wait! It healed itself and got another turn? You just used your turn to heal and suddenly had another one. Fine, get out of here. These are celebrating, they don't even know what's happening. Oh, we got Banderas now. And we got three fangs. See something that's green? What is that? Ow! I stepped in that like a dumbass. And that doesn't work. Can we escape from this? Yes, we can. Oh, the ladder works. For some reason, I kept getting stuck. Huh? What? What are you doing? Shoot. The key's not here, so we can't open the door. Out of the way. Let me try. Gwah! Huh? What? <gasps> ah! How did it go? Huh? Idiot! It pulls open! Jeez! What are you pushing it for? Oh, humor. Wait a minute. We're back in the first floor! Oh, okay. So we got a little shortcut. Ah, shoot. Oh my god, I, I've seen this when I was like having a battle off screen. I think it's called a rotten sot. Oh, what? Why'd I do that? I know what's coming. I forgot this guy has a counter. Whenever you hit him with a death blow, he'll counter, and I think he heals himself. Personally, he's a great opportunity to, like, try to master your death blows since you can't use them yourself. And this thing is really ugly looking. It's like something you see in an anime. Some kind of demon? Uh, you need C10 badly. You got a little roughed up. And its regular attacks don't even hurt that much. So I'll just keep piling on the pressure. Regular combos, not death blows. That's a lot of HP, apparently. Well, at least you got one Lariat to connect. So consider that an accomplishment for you, Rico. 
I guess a monster that looks like it's so bulky it barely moves at all. Look, look at these feet! Aren't they even feet? It's hideous looking. It just melts. Oh, but you get a lot of experience from that guy. Not as much gold, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Do we see an item over there? I'm seeing more of that slime. That could be a bad sign if we go over there. I suppose we can just explore a little bit further. Because there's all this. And we haven't even found that sewage treatment plant yet. Who are you? Hey, Gramps. What are you doing here? I thought the entrance was blocked off. Huh. I've lived here a long time. All by yourself? A spooky place like this? As you can see, I'm a mutant, so the monster never bothers me. But lately, my new neighbor has been going around busting things up. What, really? We're looking for him. Oh, would you get rid of him for me? If you need to know anything, ask me. Can I help you? The place where all the drains meet? Go northeast, and it'll be behind the door near the waterfall. That's a mutant? I thought it was a snake! That's a weird looking mutant. First, I thought it was like a rotten corpse. And of course, I had to get in a fight right then and there. Oh, it's these guys. Bye! <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Zenosol DX. Alright. We got a Zenosol made by uh, Triple H and Shawn Michaels. <laughs> I knew they wouldn't let me down. <laughs> and a Mensol. Huh, Alright. Gotta be pretty close to that sewage treatment plant, though. Why don't we just keep following this way? Alright, time to continue on. There's more of that slime, and there's a door! This must be the sewage treatment plant, then. Hmm, this is... Damn! No! It must be this one. What? Hurry up! Why are there so many keys? Just try them all. All at the same time. Maybe this one? Not that one. Um, this one? Phew. Open. Are you ready? Of course. Okay. Let's go. One, two... That's it? What? It's not here. Look up! There's an item box up there. How do we reach that? It moved. It's not here. It appears I can move outside through these sewage drains. Damn! We should have found it here. Alright, I guess we'll just grab this item then. What's this? The bell amulet. Why would I have this? Wait. We can lure it with this thing. Hmm. It doesn't look like it will show up now. Where can we use it? Let us think about what we know so far. Well, what I would like to think about is how the hell am I gonna get to this item box? Guess I gotta do some pipe jumping. Oh, 
Okay, it doesn't look that hard. Jumping for this, like, if you're not in a room full of enemies, it's responsive. Huh, okay, that worked! <laughs> Got another ether Veiler for our troubles. That was very weird. I was dropping and I somehow grabbed the item that I just opened while I was dropping. Slime in the drain. There should be several places like this. Yes. This must be the one drain it comes and goes from. That's it. We'll use the bell there to lure it out. Uh, probably not yet. Um, uh, that's gonna be too long a fight. We haven't really checked out the other side of this. Which is over this way, I believe? Oh, another murder site. Oh, come on! It rotated the camera and still got us a fight. Sorry, we have to leave you now. We have to investigate a murder scene. He's like, all right. There is always slime near the murder scene. Looks like it only happened once. What are you talking about? They say it will not return to the same place. I wonder. So in other words, we can't really use the bell where it already killed someone. Guess we could always try that other drain pipe that I saw. That might be a good idea. I guess what I should do is probably head over to the save station next. Yeah, I think we'll head over to the save point. And then we'll plan it out from there. But I think we have an idea of where we could go. And it's the one spot we haven't gone to yet. And that spot did have slime. But I want to save up in case something goes wrong. Uh, it's this way, right? Well, it is in this direction. Ah, pfft. Ah, here it is. Alright, so this is a good spot to save and end the episode. So yeah, not a lot happening in this part. You know, other than just continuing to go through the sewers. I am a bit surprised that there's going to be at least three episodes where we're in the sewers. But that's what happens when you have uh, an encounter rate like this. Then I guess this is far from the worst spot. <laughs> so how are we doing on death blows? Eugen level 88... Uki at 51. Alright, C10's learning something new. Although he probably won't be able to use that for a long time. And I guess we'll deal with that at another time. So if we ever need to retreat, we can always just go take that ladder that's not far from here. Head on up from the first floor. Exit. And then we can rest. And come back down again. So this is a good spot to like grind if we need to. And you know, get money from the items dropped from enemies. Alright, next episode, we'll uh, get this uh, mystery all sorted. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.